guys, it's Double Wide Six, and for today's project, I have some 6x48 sanding belts, and these are actually brand new. And if you let these sit because of their shelf life, they'll end up kind of tearing apart. And these got put on the machine and basically broke within a minute. One, two, just like that. And today's video, we're going to show you how to glue up new belts. So what the plan is, is to take these bigger belts and cut them down to a 4 inch by 24 strip so they'll fit my power belt sander. Alright, right here is a brand new belt. And the first thing that you need to understand is that the sandpaper is actually not binded together here. All right, there's actually a visible crack and the only thing that actually holds it is that filament tape on the back and probably some adhesive under the tape. Um, this belt here, this is uh, an older belt and you can see it a little more clear and this one probably hit a nail and we're going to go ahead and fix this too because that can be repaired as well. And why is it worth fixing? Because I just bought two new belts and it was about 12 bucks. So waste not, want not. Also, if you look at these belts, because belts have a shelf life, here's a closer look. You can see the glue at the seam just broke apart. Okay, So if you have belts like this, you might have six, ten belts. It's worth fixing. So our first step is to make the belt exactly four inches. So on the back side of the paper, I'm just drawing a line. And we're going to use an old pair of scissors to cut that. So I cut my piece four inches and it's about 27 inches long or so. And this is the original angle from the belt I'm reusing. So I'm not going to use that angle. Most of these uh, smaller belt sanders, the, uh, I'm not sure what the angle is, but if I drew a straight line, this one's about an inch and a half back. And it, it doesn't really have to be a specific angle as long as both ends meet up so that it mates properly you'll be fine so anyhow you, you just draw a straight line from where you want to start and my belt sander is 24 inch so I go out 24 I draw a straight line and then on the bottom side of the sheet you come back an inch this one like I said was an inch and a half but I'm just going to go an inch a little easier to measure and then down here I did exactly the same thing. Here's my straight line, then I do an angled line back one inch. So the next step, basically I have straight lines on each edge. I'm just going to take the belt and all you want to do is line up your straight lines. And both my straight lines are lined up and then we're going to cut on this angle here. So with the belt clamped up, we're going to cut through both pieces of material and that should give us uh, a perfect seam. So we're just about ready to join these pieces together. Now this is uh, reused sandpaper so I'm just taking some isopropyl alcohol and just cleaning away any dirt and you can see how dirty that actually is. Next step, we're using contact cement, and I would recommend using a very good contact cement. This is uh, Weldwood by DAP, and this stuff's used to make laminate countertops, and it's the best I ever used. I ended up accidentally deleting some footage I had because this video was, you know, was recorded over several days. But anyhow, uh, I'm showing you guys how to glue this up. And what I'm using here is Tyvek made by DuPont. Same thing that those uh, mailing envelopes are made out of. And we're going to use that to uh, patch up the belt here. So I'm coating it with my uh, contact cement, double coating it, letting it dry. Now 
Now for a little bit of uh, added security or insurance, we're going to glue a second piece of this Tyvek right on top. The last part of this operation is to get some blocks of wood and you want to clamp it. I'm using my vise but you could use some quick clamps if you wanted to. And we're going to snug that up really tight. We're going to let that sit for 24 hours. Then what I'm going to do is uh, take it out of the vise and I'm going to let that glue dry for at least three days because that contact spent needs that much time to really be able to bond. So here's a belt that I did before and as you can see it's uh, held together nice, the seam looks good. We're going to put it on here and you can see that it'll hold. Alright guys, so we'll do a little bit of sanding and we'll just show you that this thing uh, works. So if you ever have a bind and a broken belt, you could try this method to go ahead and fix it. Works pretty well. I found uh, after doing this a couple times that the uh, Tyvek eventually does break, and by doubling it up, you can make it last uh, fairly long. So, you know, it's worth a shot, I guess. I'll put some links to where you can get sandpaper and the uh, glue that I use down in the description. Thanks for watching, guys.